It's Feedback Gaming. Welcome back for another tutorial. We're going to be talking about hard and soft attack and hardness and softness of divisions. And we'll also have a little look at breakthrough and defense as well. Now I have made a more in-depth guide than this, quite a long video, where I break down individual um, division construction. There's two videos, there's an older one when I made when I first started making my channel, and there was a second one. The, the second one hasn't had a lot of luck, it's a two-par. I will link it in the description below, and if you do want a really in-depth look at division creation and the individual stats of creating divisions, most of these, then please have a look at that video because that will help you out some more this is tutorial guide and explanation week if you do want to have a suggestion uh, for me to make a video on a subject that you would like please comment below please upvote any votes that you do like and also don't forget to like this video for more of this kind of content and also finally don't forget to check out the playlist at the top of the description for all the other tutorials and guides I've made in the past so you can catch up any other videos you may have missed so let's talk about softness and hardness this is stats based, but it is also relates to technologies too. So there's two kinds of attack. There's soft attack and there's hard attack. Here you can see this artillery infantry does a lot more soft and hard. And uh, these are the uh, numbers it represents. Um, for instance, if I was to add on some more anti-tank, we could increase the amount of hard attack it does for this overall division. So the question you've got to ask right now is, what does soft attack, hard attack mean? Which one of these will I use when I'm fighting in combat? So if you're playing an RPG, the attack value is how much damage you do to the enemy, um, enemy's HP. Now, the way combat works in this game is a little more complex than that, because you don't technically defeat enemies, you end up breaking their organization and end up pushing them back. Uh, so I'm not going to go in depth to how the stats work, but all you need to know is from a basic RPG perspective, attack damage is the amount of damage you dealt to the enemy. And depending on how much hardness and softness the division you are fighting, depends on how much hard and soft attack you are going to deal. So let's think of a scenario. You are using this division, and this division attacks the identical of this division. How much damage will it do? It will do a total of 425 damage 0.6 in soft attack damage. 100% and it will deal zero hard attack damage. The question is, why? Because this division is 100% soft. So in Hearts of Iron 4, there's hardness and there's softness. Hard Softness usually represents infantry uh, and hardness usually represents armor, such as tanks and armored vehicles. This is all infantry, leg infantry, and artillery. This also represents 100% softness. Okay? So let's think of a hypothetical scenario, okay? Let's think of a situation where you would have a division that is a mix between the two. So let's take these off, and let's add uh, some tanks on. So medium. We had three mediums. Let's add a fourth medium. Six. We want to go for 50% hardness. It might not be realistic. We can get it dead on. We probably won't get it dead on. We'll go for 51%. Let's just presume. Let's just presume that's 50%. Is I going to be able to get it to 50% maybe? No, probably not. There you go, 50%. So this division has 50% hardness. So it's 50% soft and 50% hard. Something based on the calculation where it says 49% uh, soft. So as you can see, it says soft attack damage taken will be 49%. We'll just say 50 for this case. And, 50, and hard attack damage will be 50%. So let's say the scenario is this division fights another division on the ground, which is the identical of this one. So this division fights itself in these two provinces. The amount of damage it will deal by soft attack will be half of the amount of value that it's got here. And the amount of hard attack damage it deals will be half of this value. So as you can see now, soft attack is to damage infantry, the short version. And hard attack is to damage more armored divisions in the long run. Now that, were, that definition I just gave you there isn't universal. Because you can make some divisions that are not technically um, armor based. You could go for mechanized infantry, which also will have hardness as well. So... Just have a little look at the hardness values going to research here. Light tanks have a hardness of 80%. Uh, mediums have 90. Heavies have 95. Moderns have 98. And super heavies have 99. 
So if you wanted to, you could create yourself a dedicated division of super heavy tanks, which isn't recommended because the organization would be god awful. But you could, if you wanted to, create a super heavy division and the hardness is 99%. So as you would imagine, only 1% of soft attack damage would damage this division. So most artillery based infantry, which is the classic, in this case, probably a division that looks a bit like the one I just showed, which had artillery plugged into it, which looked a bit like this would more than likely do very 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 little soft attack damage so from this point on you should always be aiming for more hardness onto your division and as the game goes on you'll find you'll get more mechanized and armored divisions that tend to be more effective overall against uh infantry because they don't have a lot of hard attack so the question next would be how do you increase um your soft attack well, actually, let's talk about how to increase hardness. Is it self-explanatory? You add more hardness to the division. In this case, you will go for more heavier tanks. Super heavy has been the maximum. Light's been the well, the, the most, the, the one that adds the least amount of hardness. But if you think about it, adding just a little bit of softness to a mobile division, let's just say this has got 100% softness, and you add a, a light tank onto it. It will add on some hardness to this division. It is a ratio. In this case, it's four battalions with one infantry. So the difference is 16%. That will make a crucial amount of damp damp difference in actual combat. So don't forget that. So not only when you're adding tanks on it, you're adding breakthrough. You're adding speed. And you're also adding armor and piercing. Uh, but taking off, you are actually adding some hardness as well. So you reduce the amount of damage that could be inflicted to this division from soft attack divisions, soft attack based divisions. Uh, not only that, but you also can add on mechanized divisions too. So it's not just all armor. There's also mechanized too. So I think motorized starts off with 10% hardness. Uh, but you can double it to 20% by going for the first mechanized upgrade. So this has a passive upgrade of increasing hardness by 100% for the motorized, bringing it from 10% hardness to 20%. And then you've got this division, which has 50% hardness, 60%, and 70%. So if you're pairing your mechanized three with, let's say, modern tanks, your division is, most part, very, very, very hard. And in that case, you will, very little damage will be dealt to it when fighting infantry that is soft attack based. I think this aspect of Hearts of Iron 4 kind of recreates how combat in the First World War leading up to the Second World War was mainly infantry based and artillery based where it shows in World War 2 the introduction of mechanized vehicles and a lot of armored combat and you see how it becomes the new modern way of engaging in war. And so in this case you kind of want to move in that direction if you have the production to keep up with it. Of course, if you are uh, not a large nation, you're probably not going to be able to. So how do you increase soft attack? The most easiest way to increase soft attack is to add on more artillery. Infantry all do relatively decent soft attack, as you can see by representing the numbers of the actual guns that the damage they do. And in this case, the higher grade of gun you go for, the more soft attack you will actually deal. Soft attack is probably the easiest stat to increase. You can go for the extra improved equipment too, with 5% upgrades as well. Uh, you can increase the guns that they're holding, which increase the amount of soft attack as well. Uh, but the best way that adds a massive amount of soft attack is artillery. That's the cheapest way of doing it. Adds 32, 40, plus the 10% upgrade bonuses in between. Uh, but overall, if you fully upgrade artillery, rocket artillery, you do get overall the most amount of soft attack. 55 there. And plus there's a bunch of passive upgrades as well throughout the tech tree. 5%, 5%, 5%. 5%. And I believe there's some others elsewhere as well. If I'm not correct. No, I think that's it actually. But that overall will work out the most overall soft attack. So if you have got a division that has exceptionally high soft attack and you are fighting divisions that are soft, aka in most cases other infantry divisions, you are going to do an incredibly large amount of damage to them, particularly if you've got more soft attack than that division. And in that case, you're more likely to win that fight. So how do you had add hard attack? Each infantry upgrade, not the in-between passive upgrades, do it increase the amount of hard attack. Hard attack 0 0.5, 1, uh, 1 1.5, and 2. There's also the options here for the anti-tank weaponry. Extra 25% hard attack, 25% hard attack, adds extra piercing on as well. 
And uh, if you've probably not already gathered, but the Mechanize also do a decent amount of hard, uh, hard attack as well, I believe. Do they? Oh, actually, no, they don't. Tell a lie. That's tied to the guns. Um, but you can also add on hard attack by adding on standard tanks as well. Um, Anti-tanks do more hard attack as well. So you got 20% hard attack compared to the standard model, which has 14. Uh, every higher level of tank will do more hardness. But you've also got anti-air as well, a decent, do a decent amount of hardness. 7, 11, 15 compared to the very low amounts for the artillery. But overall, the best for infantry, adding on extra hardness, hard attack, should I say, uh, is anti-tank guns. 15, 22 and 30 but you've got the ones in, in between as well that add extra 10 percent hardness on as well first upgrade actually adds an extra 20 percent. that's something nice to know never, never, never actually knew that hmm yeah but you also get more hard attack as well in the long run it usually isn't very effective to have anti-tank infantry divisions what tends to happen is Sure, you're dealing more hard attack, but keeping up with the, the hard attack compared to soft attack is very difficult. And if this division is fighting a tank division, more than likely it will still lose, even if it has anti-tank weaponry. Only other thing this will do is probably slow down the tank division. The tank division has breakthrough. The tank division more than likely has enough armor so you can't pierce it. That might not always be the rule. And also as well, the tank division as well will have more hardness, so that therefore it's more difficult for this division to actually do damage to it. So anti-tank infantry don't tend to be that effective. If you want to make an infantry division that has a mixture between different um, combat abilities and flexibility, for instance, you could add on extra enter anti-tank to add more hard attack to the overall division as well. But if you look at the numbers in comparison, the soft attack is still incredibly high, and the hard attack is still not that high in comparison. It's not even a third of the total number. Is it a third? I guess so, just, just under. Yeah. Um, so there you go, guys. So you always want to be moving towards more hardness for your divisions. The simplest way of doing that is going for motorize, and that will increase the hardness for 10%, and therefore relieve some of the damage that this division can receive. Uh, but if you're going to go for higher level of mechanized and tank divisions, more hardness will happen, and therefore less damage will be dealt to that vehicle uh, from hard attack, um, uh, from soft attack. Yeah, so people tend to make divisions like this that have incredibly huge soft attack. But if you look at the hard attack value, it's nothing in comparison. Well, it's still relatively high, but in comparison to the soft attack, this division is going to be uh, uh, absorbing a lot less soft attack. In this case, only it's going to be absorbing 16% of this total soft attack if this division was fine for itself. So it kind of gives you an idea. Now, I feel like I'm not explaining this very well. So drop in the comments below if you want a deeper explanation on that, because that's the best way I can explain it to you. Um, but... I think from a combat perspective, in-game perspective, I think just always moving towards more hardness for your division, for particularly for, for armor-piercing divisions and making breakthroughs and such, because that will effectively mean there's less damage dealt to this division from infantry. Okay, a little talk about breakthrough and defense. Uh, breakthrough and defense are kind of similar stats where they are kind of like armor from an RPG perspective. Uh, the higher the number means less damage re is received to this division, depending if it's on the offense or the attack. So in this case, the armor of this division is 501 if it's defending, and the armor of this division is 1,261 if it's attacking. So it's armor either on the offense or on the defense. Now, I'll probably say in that day, that's incredibly vague. It's because we don't actually know what these numbers actually do in the actual game. There's not actually an explanation. It just says it can stay in combat for longer, and it just says it can hold the line for longer. That's all it actually says. But that number represents sort of how less damage is dealt to it. Is it based on a percentage reduction in damage? We don't actually know, because remember, we can't see the code behind the game, and no Paradox dev has actually explained how Breakthrough or Defense is calculated. Just try and understand that Defense is armor on the defense, and Breakthrough is armor on the attack. Uh, tank divisions want to have lots of breakthrough because that means they can get into combat quickly and do less deal less damage So deal more damage so therefore they can push the enemies out of the way where infantry on the other hand want to hold the line and having lots of um, Defense and entrenchment will help out a little talk about entrenchment entrenchment I haven't got any divisions on the screen to show you but uh, is like a is a stat that ticks up daily and it adds extra defense to your division so if a division was to move here uh, per day, I think about 2 or 3% will increase its entrenchment up to the maximum amount. 
and that will increase its overall defense based on the percentage increase on the overall defense that it has. Adding engineers will add extra entrenchment up to the maximum cap so you can get more maximum entrenchment. In this case, it adds an extra plus 11 entrenchment for this um, engineer. And there you go, guys. Did I explain everything well? Let me know if there's anything you don't quite get. Please be honest with me. And uh, apart from that, drop a comment below and like the video. And I will see you guys next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.